Alright. This is Splatterhouse 2 on the on the in the Sega Genesis. Alright. Wow. Options. We'll play it normal. I did a video of this years ago. And Alright, the interesting thing about this game, I'll say is straight up. When I was actually five years old, I first saw this game being played over at Christmas at my cousin's house. No joke. Christmas, even after Thanksgiving, but it was a holiday, and they were playing this fucking game. Which is surprising, because my cousin's younger than me, like a few months, and they were playing this. And this game is fucking gruesome. Graphics are a bit better. And the controls are better than the, than the fucking turbo. Oh, you suck! In the Turbo Graphics 16 version, batter up, splatter those fucking brains. Yeah, I'm gonna be playing the other Splatterhouse ga game. I'm not gonna play the one on the the, the, the Xbox 360. No, I, I draw the line there. Splat! Oh, you butt munch. Controls aren't the best, but what can you do? Fuck you. Oh, that was cruel. Oh man, it looks like he's biting his dick. Again, I haven't played this game in a very long time. Yeah, it looked like he was biting his dick off. Again, this game is, like, ridiculously violent for the time. Oh, fuck you! Fuck you. Yeah, fall in that fucking pit. Whoa! It's time to get some... But it's time to play some baseball! <laughs> Alright. Fucking thing is biting that guy. You know, we're gonna come down there. These things remind me of the things from Alien. Fuck you. Okay, fuck you. Yeah, this game is hard. I'll say that. This is a fucking hard ass game. Like, I played the first Splatterhouse. That was fucking ridiculous. A run away, bastard. Whore motherfucker. I was perfectly neat. Yeah, this game is fucking gruesome. I could imagine this on the, this in, the Super Nintendo, let alone the Nintendo. <laughs> this thing ate them. Oh, this big blob of shit. Come on, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Fuck you, you gross motherfucker. Oh, yeah. Oh, you suck. Fuck you. Oh, yeah. Oh! That well, was an extra life. So, yeah, you gotta be careful not to... When he dies, you're careful not to... Hit, kill him. Stage two, an elevator. <laughs> That's just interesting. This game reminds me like of an arcade beat 'em up. Oh come on! These guys are annoying. That's what this game really reminds me. They don't splatter. It's disappointing. Oh fuck you! That's what it really reminds me. It's like an arcade style brawler. If I recall, there was a Splatter House in the arcade. I don't remember though. I think there was. I think the Turbo Graphics 16 version is actually the port of the arcade. This might have been the arcade. I don't know. I gotta look into that. Oh fuck! Oh come on! I hit him! God damn it! I told you this is not an easy game. 
by any stretch of the imagination. It's pretty fucking frustrating, to be honest with you. Come on! Oh, that's bullshit. I punched him first. What a bunch of cocky bull fuck. Retry. It's got a password. It's not like an ass word. <laughs> I hate that shit when you try to punch the enemy, you get hit. Oh, I was, I was fucking around there. That's some. Oh, I was pretty. I was close. That's like. Usually that's cocking bullshit. Oh, fuck. Three of them? Oh, that was stupid. Come on. That was. That's. That's so cheap. Oh, come on. I hit him and that counts as hitting me? Oh, that's so cheap. Don't you hate games like that? He died before I did, so it, it shouldn't have counted there. But no, they gotta, play, they, gotta, they gotta play some fucked up rules in this game. I don't think I've ever seen any like arcade brawler where that happens. That time he hit me, but... You gotta like it when you try when you Okay. And this part's these are fucking irritating. Fuck you. Okay, if I remember that I hit this part's a pain in the dick. It's not a pain in the ass, it's a pain in the dick. Oh, you suck. Come on. And if you die, you start back at the elevator. It's got like he dumped it. Oh, come on. A lot of cheap hits in this game. Well, fuck you. And cheap jumps. Come on! This guy jumps like a fuck. Oh, we're ru yeah, you run away, fucker. I got a bone to pick with- Oh, come on! I got a bone to pick with you! You bastard! Yeah, the problem with this game is the awkward controls. They're so fu- This guy's so clumsy. It's a pain in the ass. Look how big he is. Sprites like these- Sprites are gigantic, so it's- And clunky. Oh, I got an extra life. Yeah, like the- The jumpsons are fucked. Oh, yeah, it's clever. Oh, it looked like he was walking over those spikes. But these guys are annoying. Yeah, you run away, cowder. Coward. You call him a cowder. Oh, come on! That's so cheap! Oh, yeah, fuck you. I got a fucking bone to pick with you. Same thing with you. Oh, that's nice. A spike trap. Gee oh, come on! That's so relentless! Because it's hard, it's, it's next to impossible because, I'll be honest with you, this game's not really that good, because, first of all, these, these guys, for whatever reason, it's like next to impossible not to get hit, because you're, you're this big hitbox, basically. And you gotta get close up to the enemies to hit them, that's, that's nice. You gotta like games where you, where you have to get really close up to the enemy, and they can beat the shit out of you, essentially. And I start back here at the fucking elevator. That's nice. But this is fucking shit. If you didn't die, lose all your lives at that part, you lost them all here. You're like this big clunky hitbox. That's the problem. Not to mention the controls in this game are not very good. They're kind of bullshit, to be honest with you. Ah! 
you know what? When Necro VMX does his um, live stream, which I've heard announced, that's gonna be. I should ask him to play this game. See, that was fucking relentless. Now you gotta go through all this shit with the um, these guys, and this is not the kind of game. This game's dumb. <laughs> it's not well. I wouldn't say it's dumb, but it could have. Could have gets. They should have put some work into it. Like this shit. It's so impot. It's so hard to dodge attacks because you're such a big ass target. Cause look at him. He's he's the, the sprite is huge, but you got this tiny hitbox. Oh look, he just pokes you. And he's got a range too. That's nice. And that time it looked like he didn't hit you. But it looks like he was hitting you. So it's. So it's impo next to impossible to judge if he's hitting you or not. That's bad design. To be honest with you. Oh, come on. Fucker. Like, you, sometimes you hit him and sometimes you don't. And sometimes they hit you and sometimes they, they don't. It's, it's weird. Come on, fucker. You rat bastard. Oh, I hate this part. Oh! If you survive... That's the problem. By the time you're fighting the enemies, you don't have enough health to get to that part. That's always nice. This game would be a lot of fun if it wasn't so unbelievably frustrating. Oh, come on. And it's frustrating due to bad controls, mostly. Or awkward controls. And they are awkward. Come on! I punched him! Oh, you suck! That is... That is so goddamn cheap, it's not even funny. Look, and I don't have enough health to survive that part with the spikes! Just because I can't fuck... Because the enemies just keep fucking... Ugh! God damn it, why does it have to be so fucking frustrating? Look at this. These guys are such assholes because you, you can't ju- <sighs> This game's starting to piss me off. This is some horrible level- this is some poor design. And you can't jump for shit, like he's such a big- you just- the jumping is so stiff. Look at that! I should have beat the- I should have punched him, but it got right through him. That is bad. You shouldn't have enemies that looks like you're punching them, but they take da you take damage. And it's impossible to judge those enemies because, it, for whatever reason, look at that. Sometimes it goes through, goes through me. Sometimes it doesn't. It's because they're such fucking cheap bastards. This is some of the... Aw, oh, fuck this! This game's bad! Game... Game over. Fuck you. This game gets the fingers. The middle fingers. This game would be fun if the controls... Namco made it. If this game wasn't just fucking bullshit. Because that part with those fucking enemies is so bad. It's, you can't, they're next to impossible to judge to hit. Ah, uh, fuck you. No. It's impossible for them to, for you to hit them most of the times. But they hit you. But you can't, but you know, it's, it's all un fucking unpredictable. That's bad level, that's bad design right there. You shouldn't have enemies like that. If you go through them, you should not take damage. Because because you're such a big-ass target, and they're big-ass targets, but you gotta get close to the enemies, but they could get far to you to hit. That's so unfair. This game sucks. And I apologize to, I mean, I know somebody says, oh, this game's great. No, it's not. 
if you had fun with this game, go back and play it now, you're going to be fucking pissed, like I am. That's been Spider House 2. This cutscene's pretty sweet. Yeah. All I can say about this game is, it sucks. I mean, it could have had potential. It could have been good. I'll find you there. Ooh, creepy. Eh. Only I can give you the power. Well, I'm going to cut it off here. See you next time. We'll play Spatterhouse 3. That'll be fun. Okay. You need me. That was a pretty long cutscene. See you next time.